Voice was started over 35 years ago. We recruited an army of volunteers that go into long-term care communities on a weekly basis, getting to know the residents, developing a rapport, and finding out what are their issues. And then our volunteers go on to advocate for those residents to make sure they get the very best quality of care while they're living in a long-term care setting. Many of our residents, as a result of our wonderful volunteers, feel that they're more empowered to speak up for themselves. They also feel more social engagement uh, and less isolated because they feel like Voice gives them a volunteer that's there to really listen and to really work on their behalf to make their life better. I saw it as an ad in our church bulletin. It said, can you give four hours a week? And I thought it would be a way to pay back and 21 years later, I'm still here. <laughs> Some days I feel that I am the only non-staff person they'll talk to, maybe even that week, you know. I just feel like um, a friend. We're very lucky having her to come here. It means a whole lot to, to me, more than people think it does. Voice's long-term goal is to have a volunteer in every one of the 350 long-term care communities in our service area. Right now, we only have volunteers at about a third of these communities. I think it'd be great if there were more, you know, more people knew about it and were involved in it. Our main challenge is making the greater community aware of what we have available to help them. We're there for you, we're there to give advice and coaching and ultimately resolve the issues that you may have.